in this video, I'll walk you through on how to create your email capture form which is to be placed on your lead capture page or your squeeze page. And this is my parabots.com autoresponder system, the script which I installed on my own server. And you can get this script by going to parabots.com P-A-R-A-B-O-T-S.com and you can get the autoresponder from there and you can install the script on your server. Then now I'm in the admin area and I just click on the view autoresponders over here, the option. So assuming that you have already created your autoresponder account, now in order for me to get the form codes, I just click on this icon over here. And now I'm given a series of options for me to choose on what do I want to collect from my subscriber. The first part and of course the thing that is the most important is the email address because it is needed to follow up with the subscriber and the first name. And you can optionally, you can choose to ask for the last name if you want. And also there are other fields that you, you can fill in or you can choose to ask from the subscriber but be warned that the more options or the more fields that you require from your, your subscriber to fill in the less likely they are going to um, do that process because it will be much more of a hassle to them so depending on your marketing strategy most of the time for most people giving or asking less information is the best some marketers even do not even ask for the first name they just ask for the email address because that's how important the email address is and that's the most easiest way for prospect to subscribe just a one time uh, type of the email address and that's it okay so i won't be taking on all these fields or on all these checks bo uh, check boxes and over here you have, an, you have another option if you want to automatically remove the subscriber from the following autoresponder. So, for example, if you have another autoresponder, for example, test one, uh, test two, test three, test four, and let's see if the subscriber subscribes on this test autoresponder, you may want to remove them from another autoresponder to avoid duplicate. So I'll just put it as none. In the thank you page URL, you can optionally choose where you want to redirect the visitors to. Normally, you will create this thank you page separately on a page and upload it to your server. And then you will enter this URL. So that URL will basically have the thank you uh, page where you thank the subscriber for subscribing. And the subscribe button, so I just type, you can just edit over here. the subscription button message click here to subscribe and this is our RSS subscription box I'll just leave this uh, unchecked so once everything is ready just click on the generate form it's taking quite some time Okay, there you, see, you can see the sample email capture form here. And this is the code. So just copy all the code. Right click, press copy. And when I go to my front page, okay, this is an example, a sample uh, squeeze page. So we'll fill in the code below here. We want, to, we, we want the form to appear below here, below this line. So I go to my split code. I can just go. I can also go to the code view. Let's bring this window up. Okay. Since okay. So over here, I just right click and paste the code has been pasted, and you can see the table has been pasted, but let's align this to the center okay and let's preview you can see the form has been placed over here so similarly now I'm on my Dreamweaver 
you just click here and go to the split code and paste the code here and again just uh, select this form and align it as center so let's save this and I press F12 of my keyboard to preview and there you go the form is here it has been placed so thank you for watching and I see you again in the other video series